What's up guys? This is the Riverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Louisiana. So to round off happened last time, we've been moving all of our ducks in a row for an entire episode to get to finally spring our assault against the Cherokee. This is the first battle against the border town of Annapolis. So let's begin. So what's likely to happen in these Cherokee regions is I'm going to want to build lots of religious buildings, A to help convert these Cherokee areas away from animism, but to also produce priests that will join me during my invasion of India. Obviously India does not have any Catholic regions in it, except maybe Goa. So we're going to go on the offensive here, which means our artillery is going to sit at the back and fire at whatever appeals to them. Our howitzers will be up front, providing close range support with carcass shot. We are going to form our infantry line and advance. Cavalry on each flank. Skirmishers will join them. As will the general, to be fair, he needs experience. I'm going to run my infantry up because I want to get in a good position. I am aware they've got lots of stealthed units. first rounds come in. Oh, there we go. We've killed a bunch of uh, hidden troops, so it looks like there lots of them are here. So let's just get our howitzers to keep dropping shells. See, you notice how I got the attack, like, crunch symbol? So that means that they are hiding there. My howitzers can just engage whoever they please. And then let's walk them up to the uh okay hold the phone so these this flank run you guys run louisiana and my my cuirassier hit these native warriors Let's get our artillery firing at any target we like. These armed tribesmen are going to be swamped by musket fire. Cuirassiers have managed to break their attackers. The medicine men are a bit spicy. You guys can fire into the cavalry because you're firing to their rear. Okay, let's form a better line. My cavalry reform. Comes the, here comes the howitzers. Let's march up this flank. So I'm just recovering and smash into these bowmen. Field artillery engage. Cressier hit the chief's bodyguard. Okay, my central position is falling. Which is understandable. They're being attacked by a lot of men. Fall this line back because they're about to be hit in the flank. So my line infantry here can pour fire into the uh, infantry as it fights my infantry. Let's get my general back into the action. These guys will experience 
fire into their rear, although I might want to change the position a bit. Oh, damn. Get this cavalry back in the action. You guys charge into the flanks of these warriors. You guys run around. General hit these warriors. Cressier should get more involved in the centre. Oh, damn. It might actually not repulse me with this first attack because I've been just way too cocksure. But, oh, yeah, just Native Americans. I could take them out. No, apparently not. Try kill the general with my cuirassier. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, this is done. You guys smash the bowmen. They can't currently get close enough to support my infantry. You guys surround those warriors, because that's like your only chance. You definitely try kill their general. I don't know why my guys surround avoided the... Uh, Confrontation. You guys charge the bowmen. Oh yeah, these guys are like I don't know why these guys are not engaging the warriors. Not that it makes much of a difference. The general's probably gonna die. So let's get him out of there. Rule of thumb against the native factions. Need more cavalry. Where my cavalry's doing good, it's doing good. Okay guys, I had a bit of a recording snafu. I don't know what the hell went wrong. For some reason, I don't know, the software just decided to freak out. And when I'm busy playing the game, I can't keep an eye on it. Um, but what basically happened is that uh, my line collapsed, my men fell back, but the, the combat up here, I managed to win and hold off, hold off from losing, and... I managed to rally my men. My artillery did a stellar job to cause most of them, most of the units to rout. I managed, was able to isolate and destroy a few individual units, and my cavalry did a stellar job. And we ended up actually winning, despite the fact the battle went really bad. And I'm, it's really quite annoying actually that uh, <laughs> that the recording was ruined because I was actually quite pleased with it, considering I was so doom and gloom at the start. We ended up actually winning. Um, there we go. Stupid technology. It's great when it works, but when it doesn't, eh. So it was a heroic victory for us, just. We lost a lot of men. Yeah. Lost almost half our army. But the territory is ours, and we can dismantle their building and spend a lot of money replenishing our guys because we need it. Um, this this region is pretty well converted, but once we get rid of the religious unrest, I can just march this my, my single priest down start to convert Williamsburg and um, there are no buildings in Annapolis so yeah. Baltimore's not been developed yet um, I don't think there's any other battles we can actually fight you're still trying to figure out what you want to do yeah they're very unhappy they've got a lot of resistance for occupation and let's just probably going to hit end turn because everyone here has moved as far as they can move and I'll let's see the Cherokee response to our offensive go on Gibraltar move on and take Lisbon F destroy the Spanish yeah, I don't know why the recording breaks so I can understand so when I get a recording error no, and all, one of my audio problems, I get like quite a loud uh, like audio indicator in my microphone. Like it, it seems to kind of disconnect, reconnect, and I hear like a specific pop. And I know when it's happened, so I can chop it really easily. Um, but when it does that, I don't know. It goes in this whole weird thing, it's recording. No, well, 
So in Bandicam, it's frozen. I try to stop it, and it says, do you want to stop it? And then I go, yes, please stop it. And it goes, no, it's actually still open. Ooh, yes, good opportunity to... F Ooh, Muskogee tribesmen. But yeah, we go, we're going to defend against a force of Cherokee attackers in the open country. Um, but yes, we... Yeah, it says, oh, the recording's still open, so we can't close it. And I go, okay, that's fine. Then I go back to Empire, and the recording seems to carry on. Like, the minutes tick by. So I hit the button to stop the recording, load up my video files, and it says, oh, it's corrupted. You know, it wouldn't load up. Well, at least it's corrupted in that the audio section is still there, but the actual visual effects aren't. Like, it's just a frozen screen. And it's just me commentating and you've got the audio of the battle. Which, while I know I'm an absolutely stellar commentator, fa 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 fa, um, I don't imagine that's what you guys want to see. Go a whole bunch of artillery. They want to come to us. And that's fine. Keep my heavy cavalry back. and put my lighter cavalry ready to march forwards and my general in the centre. So let's do this. That's not good. Oh, that's, the, that's where the reinforcements are coming in. Okay. Send forward my lights. You guys may as well... May as well fire a round shot, to be fair. That's a lot of artillery. It's forced some of their... Some of the units are forced to expose themselves. So they're medicine... Must, they're the, some of the tribes, men. Run my lights back. I don't want them to be intercepted. I can probably take this wing and push them up. They're, they tried to intercept my cavalry. Let's march my cavalry up. Let's limber up my artillery. Let's fold my line back to get into a better position to attack the flanks of their position. Just got my cavalry running up around the flank, ready to hit them. Okay, you guys intercept the chief's bodyguard. These guys sit, sit back ready. Society. I want these guys to avoid that combat and I want them to crash into the back of the Native American warriors. They're shattered. Good stuff. The cavalry is about to be isolated, which I don't want. You guys try smash the native warriors. Okay, the chief's been killed. Pull my cavalry out of there because they're dying to musket fire. You guys charge on into the tribesmen. Try and break their entire flank. Good. So now we can do something like this. Native American lances and chief's bodyguard. And the marines are giving as good as they can. 
My light cavalry isn't doing a stellar job against the chief's bodyguard, but it should do enough. And there go my cavalry, which is understandable. So I'd like to get my cavalry involved in a better position, but it's not all I can do. There we go, we can start intercepting the chief's bodyguard. Maybe I'll send one unit of mercenaries to go support my light cav back here. I can see my cuirassiers might get intercepted by the Native American warriors. My marines have stood fast. But let's get my artillery to hit some of these other units. There you go, killed the chief. Let's get these mercenaries around the flank. Cavalry's come back from routing and the marines have been hit again. Okay, let's get our cuirassiers out of there. These guys are here. Are they, those are Native American warriors. Don't worry about them. Smash into this Native warrior unit as it's already upset. My Marines are standing fast exceptionally well. My men continue to attack the routing troops and avoid the guys that are still in combat. Let's get all our howitzers attacking other units. He has wipe out the tribesmen. Push up my whole line. Chase down the medicine men. Let's make sure we're doing some good work wiping out their retreating army. Wow, a bunch of artillery is going after them. run my cuirassiers out to make sure they chase down someone else rather than die against the native warriors although they've routed so doesn't really matter and they're running right into the muzzle of my mercenaries when they've reloaded Last tribesman, good. I don't really think there's a lot of stuff they can do now. They got some native warriors dangerously close to my cavalry, to my artillery, but eh. Pretty sure that is everyone. We're going to continue this. Let's halt the artillery fire and just triple speed or speed up 
my cavalry. Just keep your cavalry busy. Just keep them busy and wiping out their retreating army. Because you do not need them coming back. You do not want native troops coming back. They have been destroyed. There we go, we lost 500 men, they lost 2,500 nearly. That's the garrisons of both of those cities engaged there. Opportunity to intercept. Mm, yeah. Good. I wanted them to be in the city. Good. There we go. Then we can just bottle them up. So they are now immobile. They are now immobile. This army still has <laughs> some work to do. And let's do some building. You are in a good position to march and hit Jikasa. You guys march forward and see what's out there. You can probably... Jikasa can probably attack Jikasa. Draw the garrison in, then just destroy them at Kaintuk territory. I mean, if there's one thing I don't want to do, it's assault Florida, because... Why would I want to assault a bunch of melee armed troops and bowmen in a fort where they can hold me at short distances? Nah. The flag. I think I could probably attack Chikasa. So let's take the city and let's also destroy the other garrison so that we can just continue our advance and these are, these armies are going to have to stay there for a good while uh, because there will be rebellions and all sorts of problems um, and I want to be down here I think because our army is pretty weak so I want to be away from where their reinforcements will come from artillery on a slight hill behind the rise howitzers behind them behind my line maybe a bit to the side cavalry's pretty much out of it <laughs> jump more in the center and one pretty strong unit of line so more or less just want to see where they would spawn in from and let's just speed up time a little bit just to let them get within range of my guns because they have no, they have no range so they're going to have to attack and this poor armed tribesman unit is going to be the first the first in range and then it's just switch to carcass shot Let's target different units we know what's going to happen when they hit our line. Woo -ha -ha -ha. Or what should happen. Yep. Yeah, there they go. So they've got some tribesmen trying to come around the flank. Sometimes battles like this are nice just to watch a good old bit of slaughter. Yeah, there they go. Let's just get 
get some some of this artillery attacking the reinforcing armies. Yeah, there they go. Speed up time again. Poor old Chief's bodyguard, he's going to run into musket range. Yeah, fair enough, he's hit my line. Ah, my mercenaries don't have... Oh, these are marines, that's why. Never mind. Yeah, their men are running. The armed tribesmen, and they're confident. Currently. Drop my marines into the engagement. They're not going to take any mess in. Nope. Yeah, I do not want to attack. I just want to sit there, plink at range, although you guys could actually do some damage. Let's do something like this. Yeah, you guys should you guys should probably break. Even though they've got bow fire is quite uh, quite effective. The morale effect of fire by rank should be what finally breaks them. Oh god, that was a whole load of artillery. They hit those native units. Yeah. See, if you hold them at range... Friendly fire knocked out one of my own guns. Carker shot comes in. These poor brave... These are bowmen, actually. There they go. See, this is what fighting the native faction should be like. Just running into the slaughter. Yeah. You guys, well, well, I was about to say, as we saw in the first battle, you guys might not have seen it, but I was very aggressive in that battle and I almost lost it. It went really badly and it was only due to some very good dice rolls in terms of the morale that I didn't just get absolutely screwed over. last block of men. Musketmen and Native American warriors. Oh, that should have been a good hit. Yeah. Well, my men are veterans. The 76th. Well, slightly veterans. The Marines are engaging. Fifth Foot Guards and Marines that have never been anywhere near a ship. No, you know, they've turned this into a musketeer fight. All my artillery go after these musketmen. There you go, now my men have reloaded. Just a bit of a slaughter. Wow. How are the medicine men confident? He's 
these guys will make it to our lines and they are eager. Cressy has slaughtered slaughter the chaps that got around the rear. Oh god, there's even more of them! Everyone sans cavalry. Well, everyone. All the normal troops. Well, no, Cressy, everyone sans cavalry. Quite the opposite. Everyone sans infantry. Cavalry men gonna charge uphill. They downed a few men on the way in. He's even a bombarded to Helen back. Let's speed up time now, because it's just gonna be <laughs> knocking them out, and then that should be it. Although that's obviously bad news, because it means there's someone, the general. Obviously, there's a general unit right at the back. Okay, let's just get march up all our cavalry, get all my artillery hitting him. Charge him with everything I got. In one giant attack. Just make sure everyone's all in good nick. We are getting some round shot hits on them. A handful. There we go. We just have to leave some some little uh, surprises. Go, let's just get that bad out of the way. There we go. Destroy the gunsmith. Retrain our troops. You guys are in good position to march on Teleco. You guys are attacking St. Augustine. Settlement under siege. You guys, I might actually hold for a turn. Let things settle down. Our damaged fleet is back. Let's get them to Demerara. There we go. Get them fixed. Some good trade upgrades here. It's got our plantations. It's got a cotton plantation, sugar plantation. Good stuff. Let's upgrade the commercial basin and let's get a sloop to sit there. Just keep upgrading our units. Our forces are marching out. Up. You're quite a few turns behind, but let's give you an order to hit Guatemala because Philip Abuff has got some pretty elite units backing him. And we've also got our one of our navies. He's two turns away from being finished. And let's pick up Providence and let's build a sloop. Good. Okay, resistance, or well, the conversion is done here, so let's send our missionary along to I'm Williamsburg to begin to convert man. away from the Protestant faith. But, looking at the timer, sort of, because I've got to fix that last episode part, um, I think that's time to end the... Actually, before I do that, before I do that, actually, let's just hit enter. Because I may as well do it now, at the end of the episode, most... Most of the viewers aren't actually watching. I mean, I screwed up that port transfer, but no one's going to raid it, because my fleet's right next to it. Um, but I better do it now, because most of you guys are not watching now. <laughs> um, I, may as well just end the I may as well just end the turn now, rather than at the start. I think that makes a lot of sense to me. That, and it also means that Cherokee may conduct some offensive operations against me, which is what I want. That's the thumbs up. Um, I don't like 
being on the offensive against the native factions. I want them to attack me. Yeah, they're going to go and do some sneaky stuff. No offensive ops, sadly. Hey. Oh, you sneaky little... Take all our spies. First of all, tax. Don't do top gallants. We need to build the naval college. Oh, we've got the naval college. No, we don't have machined rifling for rifled cannons. Don't do top gallants. Do reorganize procurement. Help. Uh, well, increases upkeep but reduces recruitment, which isn't really the right way round for us. This army is replenished. March. Oh, you can't even march on to Charleston without declaring war on the British. You guys got a hell of a good deal there. But I think that might spell the end of the... Uh, sort of spell the end of the Cherokee here. Let's put you guys under the sword. Let's rebuild. So they could ostensibly attack Upper Louisiana. So let's take the garrison from here. March them out. Oh no, you're still super unhappy since we recaptured you. Mm, no way about it. They're going to attack Upper Louisiana and destroy all our buildings because it's just a fact. Uh, so let's build... There's no, not really any good armies and any armies in a good position to actually deal with it. You guys aren't close enough. But I may as well march you guys on towards this bridge to make sure at the very least they don't march south. Upgrade the great estates to a palatial estate. Upgrade... Nope, not this dock. Because I don't want to attack Florida. Diplomacy, major nation, Great Britain. Open. Regions, demand Carolina. And I will pay you... 20 grand for it. Just give it to me. <sighs> How dare you. God damn it, Britain. So I will, I will have this region. Uh, okay, but I think the be no, best thing to do is to click this guy, click attack Williamsburg, and then end the episode here. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the continuing adventures of the Louisiana Empire. Cheers, everyone.